Hello. I'm going to teach you how to make strawberries today. And I'll show you some of the strawberries I've already made. This is a big bowl of them. I'm going to empty this bowl out because this is my circle. You need a circle to draw around about that big to fit whatever scraps you've got. Um, I like this size because it gives me realistic sized strawberries. Just normal pen because we won't be, um, we'll be cutting away the bit that has pen on it. So don't worry about using any fancy fabric markers. Something like that. And then we'll chop up the circle. So cut just inside the pen lines so you don't ever need to see any of that. Even though the um, raw edges will be hidden inside, so don't worry anyway. All the way around. What I like to do is make the colours um, to coordinate with the strawberries I've already made. That way, if you do get bored and stop making strawberries, then um, it doesn't matter that you haven't got colour coordinated strawberries because you arranged it that way to start with. So let's put all these strawberries back in the bowl. And I made all of these in about two and a half hours, so they go pretty quickly. Right, now you've got your circle, fold it in half. doesn't need to be exact because of what in nature is. And you've got two halves. Put one of those away. Each half will make one strawberry. Right. Get some thread on a needle, green thread, and tie a knot in the bottom. It's not always the neatest knot, but this knot is going to be hidden. Right sides together along the straight edge. At the and instead of going straight up this line, I'm going to start here and just do a little curved bottom so that my strawberries aren't too pointy. And then just running stitch up the edge. You could do this on a machine with red colour thread and do like lots of them at once, but to be honest, they're not too bad doing it by hand. They don't take long. You don't need to be too neat. And as you see, I'm just going, you know, most of it's done in one needle. Pull that straight, and then I tie off here. I don't cut the thread, I just tie it off so that it's not going to go anywhere when I start gathering up the top. Just a couple of extra stitches all on one on top of each other. Now twist your strawberry right side out, and we do a gathering stitch all the way across the top. And what I do is I just um, stick that sort of hem down there, the raw edges. Now, come quite far down the top because that'll make it easier when you gather it in at the top. So say about half a centimetre and just do gathering stitches. These can be quite big because you don't want too many stitches up there. It's all going to gather into the centre. Now, the neater you make um, your gather, the better when you attach the leaves because if your centre of your, the top of your strawberry is quite messy, you're going to have to spend quite a while stitching down the leaves to hide all those raw edges. So we're going to try and make this as neat as possible when we gather in the top of the strawberry. But first, we're going to need to um, stick some stuffing in there. And just finish up the top here. And as you can see, I'm doing this in real time. It's really quick and easy. Okay. We're back at the end. Get this back out, hold it like an ice cream cone. I'll get some stuffing. You don't need too much stuffing. I don't want it to be too rammed because it will be hard to gather the top. So holding it like an ice cream cone, stuffing your stuffing. Maybe you've even got a little bit too much there already. And so that's about that, so that sort of consistency. Now we get all the top and we ram it down there as hard as we can to make it easier to gather in the top and then pull in your gather. Pull it quite tight but not as tight as it can be yet and certainly not tight enough to snap it. And then we get our fingernail and we push all this into the centre and then keep tightening it as you push it in. Tighten, tighten, push in, push in and hopefully we'll come up with a nice sort of you know puckered appearance there with no raw edges showing. Now we want to try and seal this off so we don't need to worry about it. So with uh, lots of little stitches between one end and the other and hopefully not exposing any raw edges as you do so, go around across the top in sort of cross or star motion 
So I've got one side, the opposite side, and now I'm going to the diagonal, or the opposite side. So sort of like so south, north, west, east sort of thing. And we don't want to expose any raw edges, so make that nice and tight, and then a couple of extra stitches to seal that off. Knot it. So we'll do that across the same bit. Then we're going to make our leaves, and I'm using felt. You could make cotton and make two leaf shapes and then sew them right sides together, flip them inside out. But um, felt's great because you don't need to seal the edges. So just get a bit of skirt felt and make a square. So do you see that in relation to my strawberry? It's, you know, about the same size, but we're going to cut leaves into this. So at each four corners, go straight across the bottom and then flip up to the middle. Straight across the bottom, flip up. It's almost making like a Catherine wheel effect. So you can easily see that effect. And we flip it over. I'm doing this because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, do it the other way around. And then you join the leaves. So you end up with four leaves and a nice little star shape, which is kind of a bit like how real strawberries are. It's a little bit of artistic license, of course. So we've got our star leaf shapes. Get our needle, which is still attached to the top of our strawberry, and go straight through the middle. Now, if you've got your strawberry nice and neat, you can do this with just a couple of stitches like I'm going to do. If your strawberry's not so neat, then just keep um, plugging away and, um, you know, trying to hide the raw edges with a bit of felt. So you would almost go in a circle rather than just a star shape. But because this is nice and neat, luckily, and it does save you time making it nice and neat, then um, I just need to do a couple of stitches to make sure it's not going to fall off. Now, lift up the leaf and do a couple of stitches there to secure it. Just underneath, no one's ever really going to see that. And then stick your needle straight through the strawberry and come out a random place in the strawberry. Put your leaves back down. Stick that in your pincushion. Now, we don't want that thread coming out of the strawberry, but if we pull it slightly so that it gathers, then snip it. When the um, gather pings out, it takes the thread inside the strawberry somewhere, so you're never going to see that thread. Then we have your strawberry. Make a big bowl full of them, string them up with a ribbon, whatever you fancy doing.